So in my last video, uh, everything was a bit. Uh, I was a bit nervous. I didn't know what to say. So today I want to update on the basics which were thrown thrown in a bit last time. Um, well, first my background, like I said, I think I said that. I'm 26. I'm working in IT since 2011, and yeah, I did IT since I'm, I don't know, like 13 or so. Like it's a hobby. Um, my, my background is mostly Windows servers, Linux servers, networking, switches, firewalls, all that stuff. I think most of most of people started there. Um, yeah, of course, also uh, support first and second level. Everything you could think of, like hardware, software, networks, you know, all that stuff. Um, about languages, uh, last year. Was it last uh, last year? I did uh, a language course, um, self-paced, about ja JavaScript on FreeCodeCamp.com. Uh, what else? When I was younger, like 16 or so, I learned Visual Basic, but I mostly forgot everything already. Uh, in school, in school, I learned C Sharp, which I also forgot completely, and we also learned like the basics of Java and I attached um, Android programming a bit but um, most of it I just forgot already uh, what else I want to talk about um, yeah last week uh, last week I was talking about finishing the, the book the web application hackers handbook 2 this one here and since the last video, I, I did a few uh, vulnerable boxes from vulnhub.com on uh, things like cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, SQL injection, uh, things like that. Um, yeah, I read it again, like maybe about half, like here and there, uh, to try to understand the more advanced parts uh, in there. That went quite well. Uh, what else did I do? Yeah, I said I wanted to. I wanted to do Python, and I read the book. What's it called? Uh, Python Crash. Or let me check. Python uh, Crash Course. And there's also another book, Black Hat Python. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but you know what I'm talking about. And it was quite a fun. And uh, like I also said, I started the ECPPT uh, certificate, and uh, I, I bought installments. So that means, uh, like every month, you pay a part of the the, the whole course, and it start with web security. So let's say you, you you buy the course right now, then as soon as you paid, you get access to web security, and then from there on, every month you get access to the other the other topics. And uh, yeah, web security of course includes things like, like I said, SQL injection, cross-site scripting, uh, file upload, path traversal, th you know, the typical stuff. And uh, yeah, I try to after I read a bit about Python, I try to recreate the the, the examples they have with Python. Try to automate uh, things like. Uh, you know, like you know, SQL map, like the the advanced uh, tools to test for SQL injection. I try to recreate, like on a really basic level, of course, uh, SQL map to automatically test for SQL injection or um, dump databases, dump dump tables, things like that. And that worked quite well. And I would recommend on doing that for everybody who's learning Python or SQL mm -hmm. injection, or whatever. Use your programming language and try to recreate basic things first you learn how to understand uh, first you learn how uh, the, the tools you're using basically work uh, a second uh, a second uh, it's always different at least for me if you read it and say yeah I understand that easy and then doing it it's much harder if you do it and then there are a lot of things you didn't think about uh, when you're just reading the stuff and yeah the same happened for me for example I try to create a, a really simple uh, TCP client that does nothing else except uh, ask for HTTP header and send it off to a target 
and uh, yeah, it took me like one full day to get it working, which is like how how many lines of code is that? Like thirty lines? No, not even that. Fifty lines of code or something. But there's yeah, if you if you never did that before, and if if you just started with Python, then there are a lot of small things you could get wrong. Yeah. Um, what else I want to say? Yeah, my my goals this week. My goals this week. Uh, I still want to. In the ECPPT, they like I said, they give you access to a lab, and you can uh, try to to hack their their servers, their websites, their web apps, and stuff. And uh, I, I'm trying to uh, do it all automatically. So that means all the stuff I found, and then put it in a my self-written scanner with Python and things like that, and then fire it off. And uh, yeah, just try to recreate that. Uh, what else? Yeah, I downloaded some some wool number uh, VMs from woolhub.com about more web app hacking, and I'm trying to do that this week. And other than that, yeah, I mentioned last time I did the I read this book, hacking and, and penetration testing, which. It goes over the whole the whole net network security stuff. So like from uh, network web apps and everything that includes it and it touches everything a bit. And uh, just I downloaded a few other uh, VMs and I want to try to get root on most of them, like beginner apps, like uh, yeah, just for example password dumps or things like that. So nothing too hard, but yeah, try to get it going. I think that that's that's good uh, good for preparation for the OSCP. Other than just only web apps, and yeah, I think I think I want to keep it that way. Like post a post a video about every week or so, and then update on what I did, what I want to do. Yeah, I think I will keep it like that.